Kentucky. And now back to our top story tonight. Fresno Pacific University is forging ahead with their plans to reopen campus life to students and staff. It comes as you see in state universities are opting for mostly online classes. Our AJ Cotto joining us live from Fresno Pacific tonight. And AJ, students will be back on campus as soon as next month. Alex, on that's right. When school starts up again in August, the plan is to have most of those classes meet in person, but there will be a lot of changes. For example, most of these gates will be locked and students will be directed to one where they can be screened for symptoms before entering. Fresno Pacific University's fall semester means a return to campus for students like Amande Coleman, looking forward to his senior year. I know there's going to be regulations like we're probably going to wear a mask, social distancing, all that, but I mean, it's good to finally slowly get things back to normal, so I'm kind of excited for it. President of the private university, Joseph Jones, says they're resuming in-person classes, except for those taught by professors who are in a COVID-19 vulnerable category. There will also be a long list of safety measures in place, including one-way sidewalks, rooms cleaned between classes, and a no-visitor policy. Jones says the institute is already at a social distancing advantage. Their roughly 4,000 students are spread out between four campuses. If you look at our regional campuses, we're probably at any one night wouldn't have more than 300 people. And on the main Southeast Fresno campus, Jones says he'd be surprised if they ever had more than 1,200 people. Still, classes will be capped at 65% capacity. The safety of our students, our faculty, and our staff are the priority here. We want to provide the education. We want to create a supportive community, but the safety is important. Coleman, who plays basketball for the university, says his season is still up in the air, but he's happy to finish up his college experience with one for the books. It's never anything that probably me or anybody else would ever imagine, but I mean, at least we get to still have school, at least I get to graduate and go on my life, so that's a blessing. And Jones says any student who is still uncomfortable returning will also have the option to continue distance learning. Reporting live in Southeast Fresno, AJ Cotto, KC24.